well 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 welcome back to another team fortress 2 video we're back we are finally back playing some team fortress 2 but we're going to jump straight into it today we're looking at something that's occupied my mind for quite a while and if you've seen the title and the thumbnail you know what's going on what if every weapon was australian that is the name of today's game we're going to go through we're going to play some team fortress 2 on community servers because mods don't work in casual so the skill level will be higher than well the basement floor so yeah it's gonna be a bit harder for me you know room temperature iq man here but we're gonna see what we can do on uncle topia and we're gonna look at some very cool weapons what if they were australian it's an interesting way to um test out these australian weapons is we're playing on hydro what the fuck is this piece of shit now this is a map I have not played much, if at all, and I think a lot of you will be in that same group as me because this map rarely gets played as is. And this is just a random Uncletopia server that just happened to have a slot available for me. So yeah, it's going to be a very interesting experience, but we're going to give it our best shot and hopefully not get absolutely rolled by the absolute geniuses that play on Uncletopia. <laughs> as you can see, we got some uh, interesting looking boys here. Oh, just look at the Australian shotgun, man. It's such a shame they didn't actually add this to the game. This is a very interesting map layout. I really... Is that, a, is that an Australian mini sentry? Oh my god, it is. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Didn't know that model's working, to be honest. Oh, I should hit one of those air shots. I should hit one of those shots in general. I'm stuck there. Why am I stuck there? Golden control points as well. Damn, they really went all out for this game. Fuck him up. Oh, two kills. I'll take two kills. Look at that golden control point, man. That is sick. And look at this man. <laughs> Damn, they really went all out for this Australian update, didn't they? Look at this guy. He's, he's very cool. I'm a big fan of this man right here. And there's more golden boys, more golden man. It's a shame the dispensers aren't Australian and the normal sentries, but we can't get everything we want, can we? Did I actually air blast a single one of those projectiles? I don't think so. But we have a gold maul as well, which looks fucking sick. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Along with, obviously, the gold Nostromo nape armor. We've, got, we've already got the Australian flamethrower, so why not have the reskin as well, huh? Go in, boys. I think we did some fucking up there. We may not have killed any sentry guns, but look, I burnt a lot of people alive. That's what TF2 is there for. And that's what the Australian flamethrower is there for, or Nostromo Napalmer. See, WM1 is the way forward. It's just the best strategy for playing Pyro. And I don't think big TF2 can handle that. Me and my, me and my boy Lorik. This is my boy! See, I can press other buttons as well. Oh gosh. That's good. This is a distraction. They never expect it! Yes! Oh. <laughs> I got two people. I'll take that. I'm really cooking with the Australian Nostromo Napalm, man. It is such a good weapon. I love it so much. Look how cool the rocket launcher looks like that, man. That is very epic. Oh damn. Golden pickaxe from Minecraft, guys. Look at that gold lock and load, though. That looks sick. Give me more Australian as well, please. I, I, I require them. Oh, Sentry gun down, boys. Let's go. Thanks, NG. You are a, a real G. No! Oh. Okay. Why are my hands not gold? What's going on here? Look, we've got, we've got weapons that you don't normally see gold. As gold. That is the fun. And look at this. This is Natasha. Does slowness effect on... Um... Someone. And also looks great in gold. So yeah, I've also got um, a golden family business. Looking very nice. As well as gold running gloves of urgently. No, that's not the name, but... Gloves of running urgently, maybe. <laughs> Oh, 
We won, boys. We won. Epic. Epic crits gaming. We did it, boys. Third top scorer. Let's go. There's not really much I can do with the Brass Beast. I'm very slow. And I get shot in the head. <laughs> By a very gold sniper. That is the goldest man I've ever seen. By Jove. This man's pretty gold as well. This man. Also pretty gold, but, you know, he's pretty cool. So, we give him a pass. This guy, he's pretty gold. Mm, not so much gold on this guy. <laughs> that guy's very gold as well. Um, yeah, let's go back to Soldier. We'll rock it. We'll rock it with another... Yeah, we'll use the original. We'll keep... Keep the old shotgun, that's a classic. A certified Australian Market Garden. I'm not a Market Garden man, so we'll Zatoichi it up a bit, I think. Got a floating gold hand on the end of my screen there. That's just good gameplay. Good game design, really. But just look, look, Valve. If you added all these weapons as gold, you know, you'd make a lot of money. Lol. Sorry, I didn't really use that Uber to the best of advantage. I always had no rockets in my rocket launcher. Sorry about it. He's a very blue man. Well. That rock is very uneven. I don't like it. I hate navigating it. Oh, fuck it out. And then that happens. I don't like that piece of land. Did that guy have a silver gunslinger? What the fuck? Hmm. Something tells me the texture of this gun is not done correctly. <laughs> what a gold man. I don't know if Sniper's supposed to be that gold, but he is. We were doing better as Pyro. We're going to switch back to the old faithful loadout that did so well for us last time. Um, and just hope for the best, really. Hope they've not got any sentry guns or anything, because that would be sad. They have, they have one there. Damn it! They didn't go to plan. He's so gold. This guy is very gold. Oh my god. The snipers, I think the snipers are too gold. If I'm being honest, I think they might be a little too gold. But the gold Sydney sleeper is kind of kind of epic. Just a glimpse into what Valve could give us if they, you know, just changed a few textures around. Really, it's not a lot of work. I do also want to mention that this is TF2 64-bit, the new, oh, the new TF2 update where it now runs a lot better on newer computers so that is out if you're experiencing um, performance issues with the team fortress 2 the new 64-bit version might fix those for you let's give it a go now also golden now golden look at me i'm cool oh he tried to reflect that he's he's got balls i'll, I'll give him that no you're not okay they did <laughs> they did unfortunately they did and we're still on hydro what is going on I'd say should we give Scout a go, but like, they have so many sentry guns, it's not going to be a fun experience for me. So we're rocking the Australian soda popper, Australian pistol. Um, this isn't Australian, but it's not made out of metal, so it makes sense. Gordon mini sentry, very nice, very epic. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't think Hydro ever ends. I <laughs> Have you ever played a game of Hydro and it ends? Because I don't think I have. Obviously, you know, we've got the classic Australian black box. Australian cow mangler. I've not seen that before. We'll be rocking that. With the Australian bison as well. And then we'll rip back on the escape plan because um, that shit helped. Bison boys, let's go. Let's get another bison kill. Get off my point! Okay. I tried, guys. I tried. I would say Golden Ambassador, but that is a legitimate golden weapon. <laughs> golden Iron Bomber, though. I call that the Gold Bomber, am I right, boys? I do love the Australian Islander. I think that is one of the greatest Australians of all time, because a golden sword is just cool. It's just something innate about it, that a golden sword is cool. I don't make the rules. It's just how it is. One day I'll hit someone with a charge shot. May not be today, but one day. I got him, boys. Oh! 
Okay. Speaking about saying something with a charge shot, I just... I don't know why I'm near the dispenser. I don't need to reload. I have... I have no infinite ammo. Ah, oh, missed. Oh no, I hit someone. I'll say that. Oh, I'm sorry, Mario. Luigi is better anyway, to be fair. I've been pissed on. This is not great. I got my revenge. That's all I really wanted. I don't care what happens now. I'm actually kind of cooking with the fucking cow mangler there. What's going on? I did this as a meme, but just look at it. Look how cool that looks. Along with the bison. Should we try and get a bison kill for old, for old time's sake? I think we should. Pow, pow, pow. Pow, pow, pow. I can't actually hit any shots of this. It's incredible. Bro, imagine your first time playing TF2 was this map. Oh, what a perfect way to get your revenge on someone else with a beautiful charge shot. How do, how do I miss a stationary dispenser? Oh my god. That's impressive even from me. Like, how do you miss a stationary dispenser? Oh my lord, I am... I'm quite the TF2 player, let's be real. <laughs> it's a shame my projectiles aren't gold as well. That'd be pretty cool, but... I guess Team Coloured would have to do. Yep, that was all me and my epic charge shot. Alright boys, this is our moment. Yes! Completely normal. This is how a tank is driven. We finally beat Hydro. <laughs> I've enjoyed playing Hydro. Hope you've enjoyed this video showcasing some funny Australians that we could see. Hope you have a brilliant rest of your day. I'll do like a pace spin with links to all the mods I've used down in the description below. Do beware, TF2 has a mod limit, so you can only install so many of them before you have to like get uh, janky with it and like merge all the mods into one folder or to one file, so beware of that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can feel took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.